Sing me a song, you're singer. Do me no wrong, you're bringer of evil. The devil is never a maker. The less that you give, you're a taker. And it goes on and on and on. And it goes on and on and on. Heaven and hell. I can tell this was a magnificent, magnificent DVD. This is Heaven and Hell live radio music, Radio City Music Hall 2007. The lineup of Mr. Ronnie James Dino, Mr. Ronnie James Dio, Tony Iommi, Giza Butler, and of course the magnificent drummer Vinny Apice, 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 however you say his name. Ah, uh, truly. It was like all the stuff that was happening with Ozzy and everyone else in Sabbath. It was like, you know what? Let's get Ronnie again and have him rejoin together. And it was like, okay, we're going to release this magnificent album in a couple of weeks called The Devil You Know. It was a truly magnificent um, last work for Ronnie, Ronnie James Dio, who sadly passed away from stomach cancer in May of 2010. He will never be forgotten. He's truly one of Rock's greatest vocalists, nicest guys, and... Uh, let's just say, the big things come in small packages. That's all I'm going to say. So, this is, again, recorded at Music City Radio Hall in New York. This is kind of, was, yes, and I know who's going to be watching this. Yes, you were there, and you texted a whole bunch of people. The Sea of Tranquility crew texted a whole bunch of people. I'm just here to give my insight. So what do we have here? A magnificent, beautiful, kind of gothic opening. Kind of looks like black metal, looks like more refined. You can tell all four members right here in black and white performing on stage. Ronnie is doing this. You flip it on the back. You have the track list. You have, you have the members. You have all your standard, you know, let's see, program concert content. 2007, Terrence Geezer Butler, Dio, Anthony, Tony Iommi, an exclusive license to Rhino Entertainment Company, Warner, blah, 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 who cares about that. All the usual stuff, Rhino, hmm, Rhino Records, uh, Region 1, Region Crap just needs to stop, it's just garbage. So what is on here? E5150, which I believe means evil, EV51, something to do with evil, I forget what. After All the Dead, The Mob Rules, Children of the Sea, Lady Evil, I, It's the Sign of the Southern Cross, Voodoo, You Made the Devil Cry, Computer God, Falling Out the Edge of the World, Shadow of the Wind, Die Young, Heaven and Hell, Lonely is the Word, and of course, Neon Knights. Look inside. Got a little kind of mesmerizing disc. Ooh, check this out. Yes, my channel is a little bit more... Uh, kind of performance art. Say what you will about that, I don't care. Yeah, the uh, Heaven Hell merchandise. On DVD and CD, Heaven Hell Life from Radio Music City Hall. It's pretty much uh, also available Black Sabbath Dio years. For the first time on one CD. You can see that right there. Uh, the classic from Heaven and Hell, Mob Rules Live Evil. Surprising. Okay, handy humanizer, all the master plus. Three brand new songs, including the hit single, The Devil Cry. Yeah, that was popular. Well, out here on the riff for five minutes. Like, oh, we're just going to play this. We're just going to go back to freaking Iron Man. Dweebs. License just to play the same songs. Ad Infinitum. But whatever. I don't care. Oh, there's also extras. Heaven and Hell Road Movie. Hail the Gods of Metal. I wonder if Man of War has something to say about that. The Gods made heavy metals. Add a tribute to them. Or more to the uh, Norse gods. Good question. Meet the mob in Radio Hall. So. I got this DVD for oh, 15 bucks. It's not a bad price. Blu-ray though. I don't know what's going through these scalpers mind. but 55 bucks on Amazon. And person's charging $126 on Discogs and eBay, I don't even know what it is. It's just an amalgamation of stupidity. Alright, so E5150 begins with the instrumental after all the dead. 
Nah, it's meant to get the crowd going. The Mob Rules Instant Speed Metal Classic. That one's one of the best. Children of the Sea, that's when you just sit back, you relax, and you listen just to the beautiful ballad. And you're just like, Misty Morning. And you're like, yep, we know where this is going. You just, you're just entranced by the guitar work and the vocals. That's a good combination uh, combo of the two. And, of course, there's the bass and the drums. Lady Evil is kind of, you know, slightly humorous song. It's got the bass intro we all love. It's got the guitars. It's a quick little number. I, I, I. It's more of a performance from uh, Ronnie himself where he's just singing about, like, who am I, 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 I. But he says, I, I, I. And only the way that he can do. And, of course, the epic, one of the two epics on the song is Sign of the Southern Cross. Seven minutes of just absolute pure, um, damn near epic uh, composition, if you will. Voodoo is an all right song. It's not my personal favorite, but they played it. One of the two singles is, of course, The Devil Cried. And I'm just like, yep, it's meant to be a single. Gets the point across. There you go. Computer God. How relevant it is nowadays, we're all entranced by computer screens. I mean, I'm watching a Royal Hunt concert. The uh, power, the melodic power metal band right here on my screen. I'm just like, yeah, I'm watching this. Granted, then again, it's got wires running through it. It's not exactly wireless like my phone that I'm using to record it. So, yeah. Falling off the edge of the world. I was taken aback by this song. This is Ronnie Sings. Here's a little break. Verse 2, guitar solo. Verse 3, guitar solo. Beat the chorus around... State the chorus, I think around verse 3. Then do it at verse 5 and have a solo just to fade out. It's kind of like the ending song, I believe it is. I was surprised by that. That was a very nice number. Uh, let's see. Shadow of the Wind It was the second of the three singles released. That one has to do with drugs. It's like how you feel a rush for a while and then ultimately it's just not there anymore. It's just a shadow of how you feel of yourself afterwards. Just like, I feel like garbage. Die Young, yep, it gets speedy towards the end. Honestly, I think that Mob Rules is oof, Mob Rules versus Heaven and Hell. That's ooh, that's a tough question. What's better? I, uh, and then the other epic is okay. Maybe like the maybe one could call Falling Off the Edge of the World a mini epic slash underappreciated. Heaven and Hell though, that's the other epic. Yes, they sing it. The lights are dim. The atmosphere is there. You're entranced. You're watching it. Uh, I believe that Tony has a little guitar solo before. You know, he's still got to kind of keep the whole 1970s epic guitar solo or well, the other members rest. It's like, yeah, it's there for like three minutes. Chris Allo, if you're watching this, yeah, that's how you do a guitar solo. It's three to five minutes, not 12. <laughs> Lonely is the word. I forgot how that goes. And of course, it ends with the blistering Neon Night. God, that's such a good song. And on Ozzy. If I had to guess, I would have switched Neon Knights and replaced it with um, Heaven and Hell. That would have been the perfect way to end it. But yeah, this is an absolute 10 out of 10 must watch. They have maybe have one more song from Dehumanizer. I don't know. That's just me. But you know what? They promoted the, they promoted the devil you know. They played all the big hits. And yeah, honestly, yeah. And again, the concert's two hours long. I don't know. Maybe just like a medley from Dehumanizer. Like three songs like for four minutes. That's what I would have done. But that's just me. But yeah. If you can, go out. Find this beautiful print as I recover this. And as always, you keep rocking the F on.